This is way too cool. Augmented reality, it's the birth word of the moment. You have used it to catch Pokemon or even to transform your beautiful face with Snapchat. Will AR take over the world or will it die? Tell me what you think in the comment section below, but today we are going to take a step back and see what's beneath this technology by making our first AR application inspired by the living pictures from Harry Potter. What we need to get started is a game engine that will do the basics of rendering a 3D object. For this project, I will be using the most popular free game engine out there, Unity. If you want to learn more about Unity, help yourself by watching my other video and subscribing to my channel. I will also add a link to download Unity in the description. Once downloaded, I will create a new project that I will name Harry Potter AR. Choose a version of Unity and we are ready to go. Before we get further, let me explain the principle of augmented reality. To think that a 3D mode is part of the real world, the computer needs to find point of reference to make sure our 3D model stays in place when we move. For example, in the case of Snapchat, it's your face that serves as an anchor. But in our case, we will use an image to track the position. Luckily for us, Unity has already a tool called Vuforia that handles basic AR stuff. To enable Vuforia, click under Product Settings, Player, and then Vuforia Augmented Reality. This will thank you directly to the Vuforia installer. When you are down, you can open your Unity project, and if we go again in the Player Project Settings, you will see that a checkbox has appeared that we can now enable. For the next step, we will add in our scene the basic stuff for doing an augmented reality application. In the hierarchy windows, right click, go into Vuforia and select AR Camera. This will also install some stuff in your project. Now that we have our AR Camera, we can delete the main camera. We will add an image in our application that we can use as an intro as I was explaining earlier. For that, right click again in the hierarchy, go under Vuforia and click on Image this time. This will also include a default database that contains already some pictures. And here we go, we can already test our application by adding a simple cube as a child of the image target. The cube will appear once the image is tracked. You can either hit play to test it with a webcam or you can directly build it to your phone like I did myself. You can see that the Im image is recognized and the cube stays in place even when we move. Ok, so now that we have the basics of an augmented reality app, Let's have fun with it. I will first show you how you can add your own image as a target. Then, instead of a cube, we will create an augmented reality video that will play once the image is found. In my case, I will use as the image the first frame of this video so that the image will feel like alive when the video is played. To use a custom image target, go under Windows, before your configuration, then click on Add Database. This will send you to the Vuforia Developer website. Here, you can quickly create a Vuforia Developer account. I will connect to the one I already have. In the License Manager, click on Get Development Key. This will create a new key that will make it possible to load in our application the image database. Now that we have our key, we can copy paste it in the Yo Unity editor. Now that we have a license, let's create a database by going in the Target Manager. Then, click on Add Database, give it a name and set the type to Device. Ok, so now you can click on the database that we have created and we can now select the image that we want inside Add Target. Don't forget to set the size of the image that you will use in the real world. To export the image inside our project, select it and click on Download Database. Then, select any Unity Editor. This will create a Unity package that we can drag inside the Unity Editor. And here we go! We can now select our database with the image that we have uploaded. Now, for the second step, let's create an augmented reality video. We'll first add a quad by going under 3D Quad. This is where the video will appear, so we will rescale it to match the size of our image. Then, right click again in the React in Windows and this time select Video Player. Set the render mode to Overall Material 
and drag our quad in the renderer slot. Ok, finally, we can drag our video to the video clip of the video player. And here we go, we are almost down. There is only one last thing to do and it's to play the video once the image is targeted. For that, we can simply uncheck the play on awake of the video player and in our image target, we will replace the default trackable event handler by a custom script that I will also put in the description below. It's basically the same function, except that we will trigger a unity event when the image is targeted. Now, we can drag the video player in the on tracking found slot and make our video play when the image is found. Everything is now down. We can see that the video is launching when the image is seen. Keep going further with this technology. For example, try adding other video to your application like I did here. Have fun with it. Make yourself an augmented reality diaporama of your vocation to show your friends and family. Make a next-gen art exhibition and more. But I hope that you enjoy every bit of this video. If you want to see more AR content, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next one.